Hi, and welcome back to the second episode of the Action Project. I'm Alin. And I'm Dom. And we are the National Action Officer from Amsterdam. And for today, we're going to talk about the difference between Amsterdam and IFMSA Action Project. And because of that, we have invited three special guests today. So please welcome Pat, Ruth, and Sam. So, could you better please introduce yourself to us? Okay, hi, I'm Pat, the delegate from MSEP Thailand. Hi, I'm Louis, the National Officer on Research Exchange from IFMSA Thailand. Hi, and I'm Sam, National Exchange Officer of IFMSA Thailand. Okay, it's so nice to have you on the with us today. So, let's talk about the concepts for this episode. The concept is the wish and compare and what is it? It is that begin to typically a set of keywords or a keyword. And then everyone will have a chance to talk about the keyword. You can say anything that relates to the keyword and also your exchange project. And then we will switch between each person until we complete the round. And we will move on to the next keyword. And in this way, we can easily compare the differences and also the similarity between each action project. Is it right? So let's start with the first keyword. Okay, so the first set of keyword is organizations and purpose. So can you guys please share with us like the brief detail of your organizations and its goal? Um, let's start with AMSA. Okay, AMSA is an operation for Asian medical students Association and its organization for medical students across Asia. And its goal is to be academically competent, initiative driven, and socially ethical. And how about IFMSA? So IFMSA stands for the International Federation of Medical Students Association. Founded in 1951, it, it is one of the world's oldest and largest student run organizations. It represents, connects, and engages every day with an inspiring and engaging network of 1.3 million medical students from 139 national members' organizations in 130 countries around the globe. For the purpose of SPORI, I don't want to say Thailand, um, unfortunately, many medical students do not have the opportunity to experience research while in medical school. Research is essential for the development of medicine, and without it, the medical field would never have reached the stage it is at now. And um, with innovative methods of diagnosis and treatment. Each year, more than 15,000 medical students embark on a journey to explore health care delivery and health systems in different cultural and social settings. Our mission is to offer future physicians an opportunity to experience research and diversity in countries all over the world. This is achieved by providing a network of locally and internationally active students that globally facilitate access to research exchange projects. Through our programming and, and opportunities, we aim to develop both culturally sensitive students and skew research researchers intent on shaping the world of science. How about Scopey then? Well, uh, for the purpose of Scopey, it's basically to promote cultural understanding and cooperation amongst medical students, and also with health professionals through the facilitation of international student exchanges. And it is also to give all students the opportunity to learn about global health and attains this partly by having its exchange accredited by medical faculties all over the world. And it is also highly academic exchange. Okay, and now we complete the round. So let's move on to the next keyword, which is project. Let's start with answer. <laughs> Okay, so to fulfill the aforementioned goal, AMSA has hosted, hosted like multiple projects, such as um, the medical student conference, the community community outreach um, activities, and research webinars. We also have the MDS team, other multidisciplinary study teams, whose goal is to connect the medical student with um, the student from other fields. And lastly, AMSA. The, the Asian Medical Student Exchange Program, who hosted exchange program for our dear medical students in order to exchange knowledge and experience while also extending our relationship with other countries. 
Okay. So Post Glory, the major project is the IFMSA Research Exchange Project. So the Research Exchange Project is a research exchange um, program that provides medical students with the opportunity to deepen their knowledge in the specific area of their research interests. This program is officially recognized and supported by the medical school, university, and is guided by a mentor who introduces exchange students to the basic principles of research, including literature search, data collection, scientific writing, laboratory work, statistics, and ethics. And for school B, it's actually mostly about clinical exchange project. But however, we have many more projects, including meetings, uh, two times um, two times a year, for example, August meeting or March meeting during each year. And also each local committee or hospitals in Thailand can open their new exchange projects whenever during the season. Yes, uh, and that is the project. Now let's move on to the next keyword, which is duration. How long is your extra project? Approximately. Let's start with yeah. Okay, the typical duration of MSEP exchange program is usually between 6 to and 10 days. Mm, okay, and how about the scoring? So okay. for scoring, the duration varies between each project and exchange program, but most of the research exchange is four weeks long. In some projects, the duration can be eight weeks long. Scoping is also somehow just like scoring, which is four weeks long or it's kind of one month exchange and but however you would you need to obtain 80 percent of the exchange in order to get certificate which at least three months if you are not available then you, you can go back to your country yeah. okay so the next keyword is countries so can you guys please tell us more like about the countries that um, you, you offer in your project let's start with Okay. MSEP has collaborated with various countries, and for these years, uh, the country in focus are Australia, Taiwan, Egypt, Indonesia, and India. So countries that are available are different in each year, depending on the NMO's capacity and contracts with other NMO's. However, most of the countries under contract with IFMSA Thailand for SCORI are from Europe, Asia Pacific, and the Americas. Currently, we are sending outgoing students and hosting incoming students from Belgium, Brazil, Canada, China, Croatia, Czech Republic, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Poland, Portugal, Romania, and Spain. Yeah, and for and for Scopi, we're also different in each year. There are so many more countries rather than SCORI because we sign many more contracts with and we also have many outgoings and incomings exchange much more than SCORI each year. So basically we have around more or less 20 available countries during each year. Uh, I will give you examples of the countries during for each for this year, which is Egypt, Croatia, Romania, Russia, Brazil, Indonesia, France, Italy, Croatia, Greece, Portugal, and etc. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have the, like the brief detail of each organizations, let's talk about the qualifications and the process that um, our students have to go through in order to become a delegate. Let's start with MSEP. So the AMSEP exchange program is open to all medical students, but the majority of the participants tend to be the preclinical medical students. And about the process, first you have to check the requirements and other information at AMSEP's official page on Instagram, and then you have to write an essay about your motivation to join the exchange program. And after the selection process, you will have to book a flight, tickets, and apply for a visa if necessary, and then you are ready to go. Okay. So for SCORI, SCORI is open for both preclinical and clinical year medical students who are motivated about research exchange. Qualities that, are, that will be considered throughout the application are extracurricular activities, motivation for research exchange, English proficiency, and global competencies. 
for the process, I would say Thailand has two different processes for scoring qualifications for exchange season, a national round and local rounds. Students who are interested in the MFSA Research Exchange Program can contact or apply for both the national round and local rounds in October to November of every season. You need to prepare a motivation letter, a CV, and prepare for an interview. Application for national rounds will be hosted by the National Officers on Research Exchange, providing opportunities for medical students from all over the country. Application for local rounds will be hosted by the local committee under the supervision of the local officer on research exchange. You can contact your local officers for more information about the local rounds. For more information about Scopy and Scory Thailand, you can also follow our Instagram page at Scopy and Scory underscore TH. And for Scopy qualifications, mostly we accept only clinical students. But however, it depends on the destination you want to go for an exchange. Some countries require year five or above. Meanwhile, some countries require you only to finish year three. So you have to see the requirements for each country in our exchange condition in IFMSA database website, which is IFMSA exchange. Yeah, you can find it in Google. And for the process, normally you can register the program in your own LC local committee, usually around October each year, depends on each local committee. And you will go on the process of interview with your local exchange officers. They are the one who choose the outgoings for each year for each local committee. However, if you cannot apply, uh, for the local round, you can apply for national round in around November. After got selected, you need to prepare the documents. Uh, usually, it uh, includes English motiv English certification, motivation letter, application form, like recommendation letter, and etc. But uh, in some hospital, they may be require some more special documents that you and you have to see it in exchange condition also in the website. Okay, thank you so much. And the next curious thing is activity. It can be both in and out of this school. It can be anything. So let's start with on start class. The activities are mainly focused on four purposes of MSIF. Uh, the academics, bonding, social, cultural, and community services. During my program in Australia, we will visit the University of Melbourne and the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre tour, and we got a chance to participate in academic discussions around topics like voluntary assisted dying, the skin cancer, and the Australia's primary healthcare system and the unique Indigenous healthcare which Australia is known for. And apart from the academic field, we also have community services and social cultural events, such as the language and food exchange. Uh, the, and we have a chance to explore many places within the city while bonding with fellow medical students. Activities throughout the research exchange mainly focuses on your academic works on your research. Most of the time, students will be working in the laboratory under the supervision of the professors. Students will work through the procedures and processes of the specific lab and prepare a presentation or a scientific report to the professor. Other activities apart from the academic part are the national social program and local social programs, where the hosting officers and contact persons will be bringing um, incoming students to explore around the country and cities. Yeah, and for professional exchange, Scopy provides professional exchange, as you can see, this clinical exchange, and the students will be observing and practicing skill in some departments, uh, such as surgical skill training. Yeah. Other than that, we also have social programs just like SCORI, which students can also have cultural exchange with many students all over the world. Okay, um, now let's go on to the next keyword. Okay, so next keyword is um, cost. So can you guys please share with us like the cost of joining your project and like the estimated estimated cost and um, some other expense cost of living something like that. Yeah. Okay, about the MSF, the expenses depends on the activities and country you join, but typically amount to around ten thousand to twenty five thousand baht, excluding flight tickets. 
for scoring the fees and other expenses vary between your destinations. Most of the expenses are plane tickets and an outgoing fee of um, 12,000 Thai baht. Accommodations are usually provided by the hosting local committee. Pocket monies are also provided by IFMSA. And for Scopy, for our goings, firstly, there will be plane tickets and 15,000 baht in order to attend the program. And also we provide pocket monies and accommodation, accommodation also. Okay, um, no, it's the wrong keyword, but actually it's not a keyword, but it's the question. What is the message that you want to give to anyone who wants to participate in our action project? So let's start with Sample. Okay. For those who are considering going on an exchange, I can say that this is a very, uh, very great opportunity to break free from your comfort zone and it's like a once in a lifetime experience that you couldn't find anywhere else and it will broaden your perspective about things and yeah. So if you are ready to hop on this journey and I'm so ready to welcome you too. So for me, as a national officer on research exchange and the president of IFMSA KKU, I think IFMSA and AMSA are like brothers and sisters. Both exchange programs are amazing and provide unforgettable experiences for students that are interested in research exchange, clinical clerkships, and professional exchange. As a representative of IFMSA Thailand, I hope that we'll, be, um, we'll keep on collaborating and working together to develop a forever growing society of motivated medical students who will be empowering our, our communities in the future. Yeah. And for Scopy, I guarantee that the exchanges will provide provide you memorable experiences and you will gain many things other than academic knowledge. And lastly, if anyone has more questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via Scopy and Scurry Instagram anytime. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for such a meaningful message and also being with us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be interviewing Dr. Tani, a Thai medical professor at Howard and a YouTuber, who will be sharing with us his amazing journeys of medicines and his perspective on exchanging. So don't miss it. And yeah, if you liked it, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of this, you can find us on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, and Facebook new content every week. And thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed and see you later. Bye-bye.